And really, you are saying right. You know, when we interact with different kind of people from diverse countries, so we get lot of knowledge. You know, because like if you are alone at home and mm. you are not talking to somebody, and you are not going outside, mm. you are not interacting with different kind of people. So how can you get knowledge? Yeah. So this is the best way to increase your knowledge and present yourself. Because I have seen there are a lot of people they have Definitely. lot of ideas in their mind. You know, they are so knowledgeable. but they don't know that how to express their ideas how to present yourself yeah and it will only come when you present yourself daily to other to in front of other person and you can check yourself mm. ki yesterday i have done this mistake tomorrow i will not do this mistake and i will speak this i will not speak like this so this is how you know we are learning okay my name is abdul wahid and uh... I I belong to Pakistan. Currently, I'm living in Lahore city. When I come to my uh, profession, I am a government job holder person. And uh, when I talk about my education, I completed BCom from Punjab University, Lahore. So yeah, if I talk about my hobby, I love reading, writing, and making a conversation with new people. That's all about me. So very good that you are doing job. Still, you are learning this language. So, how long have you been learning this language? Ah, uh, I have been learning this language for uh, two years. Yeah, and if I talk about my experience, and it's been very uh, challenging because you know we are living in, uh, uh, I think in in a place where uh, not uh, uh, English at most. Where you know mostly people used to speak their native language. so when i started my spoken english journey i was start more confident and uh, yeah but i joined different whatsapp group uh, english applications so somehow i started to speak with different people but uh, after uh, making a conversation with different people i realized that uh, it's just language i don't need to worry about it and uh, yes. try to continue my spoken english journey yeah so in this way i started my journey and i'm still making a lot of uh, mistakes but the thing is i'm trying to improve myself on daily basis yes sir and sir you know it's a language and we can never say that yes, i am perfect in this language because i have seen there are a lot of uh, people they are so fluent still they are learning and they always say that mm -hmm. i have room for improvement yeah so we can i think we can never get perfection so yes we should always be keep on practicing learning this language and enjoy this language yeah because if you enjoy yeah, anything definitely. so you can get easily yeah don't take it bore yeah. and don't definitely. don't feel nervousness and don't demotivate uh, because i have seen sometimes that people just start speaking english that they are today they are very serious and within few months and within few days they try to give up that let them leave all the things that they can't do this i think that if you want to get uh, you know fluency in any language so you have to just have patience and work daily you know so you will definitely get results day by day but yeah, patience definitely. is really uh, you know essential that if you are in hurry and you want results soon so it's not possible sometimes like we are not surrounded by with english environment yeah that's why we have to face a lot of problems and challenges so yes i think keep on practicing daily so one day definitely we will get good command over this language yeah exactly exactly you know uh, there is no any shortcut it's a time being process and uh, we have to be consistent with this language and definitely uh, in this yeah. we uh if uh, we will uh, give time to this language on daily basis and definitely we will have a chance perfect. to make a perfect, perfect. to ourselves hmm. yeah. yes and one thing i would like to know sir that as you told me that you faced so many challenges uh, in your initial days so one thing i would like to know that uh, what was your process like you learned english uh, first of all you learned grammar or you just started speaking what did you do no actually uh, i had a, a confidence problem i 
I was a good in writing and reading. But uh, I don't know why. When I made a conversation with someone, I felt some hesitation. Hmm. So that was my problem. It happens. It happens. But, because uh, you know, uh, you know every person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hmm. But, yeah, you know, may, uh, sp speaking uh, in the front of the camera is totally different type of experience. Yeah. You know, and yeah. uh, audio conversation is, uh, I think, is the more comfort comfortable uh, than the video conversation. It's my yes, personal sir. experience. Because today we are talking yeah. live to each other, you know, so yeah. we have to maintain our eye contact. We have to, yeah. you know, give our facial exp expression hand posture, like when we talk to somebody. So it's uh, the re recognition of uh, uh, your confidence also. Like when we are talking on audio call, that time no one is, uh, you know, watching me. Just I can speak and whatever mm -hmm. just coming in my mind. So we should, we think that we are free. Okay. And but when mm -hmm. we are online, like we are, you know, interact, interacting one to one um, online conversation, video conversation, that time it's total different yes so mm, sometimes yeah. we get distracted like what to say how to mm. say and yes so these all things come in my mind but you know uh, we mm. can get overcome from our practice if you want to do daily practice so this is how you know you can't feel nervous and hesitation mm. on video call yeah it depends on practice only. yeah definitely yes Definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, actually, your English quite well, and uh, you are talking uh, really confidently. So I'm very curious to know about your spoken English journey. How have you been throughout your journey? First of all, sir, I would like to say that I don't think so. Like you are thinking that I am so fluent. I don't think so. I always think that. I am doing nothing, just I need a lot of improvement. Yes, but I can say that yes, I am getting little bit confident rather than earlier because you know, 10 months ago I started my speaking journey. Before that, like I was the same as you told me that you were good at uh, writing and reading and listening, all the things. In the same way, I was good. But uh, if I talk about uh, speaking, so I was zero at uh, speaking 10 months ago, really. And I was mm -hmm. like in introverted personality. So I used to feel very nervous and hesitation before anyone, any stranger. Yes, but you know, gradually, like when I started my speaking journey and daily I interact with someone. So this is how I think that, you know, it depends on practice. Like I am daily practicing, practicing. So it becomes habitual for me. Because, you know, when you do any work daily, so it becomes habitual. So it looks like natural and automatically words come, start coming in your mind, you know. So, yes, I, I would like to say that I'm a teacher also, like I'm an offline teacher. So I teach some children. Uh, I teach grammar and uh, literature. So when I teach my children, so that time I'm, I'm very confident, like, uh, so... I, I can say that this is why you can say that I look confident because I'm habitual and I have been like, uh, teaching for a long time. Okay, okay, okay. that's great. Okay. I think uh, uh, you, you might be faced some uh, problem when you started to teaching. Yeah. But no, as you have a, a lot of experience in teaching now, so that's why you are you enjoying, you are enjoying your uh, job, yes. you know. Mm. And way, teaching is my passion also, sir. Teaching mm. is my passion. Like, I love teaching, you know. Uh, when you don't have interest in any field, that time you can say that you face problem and you don't like, like you have to put a lot of effort. But when you enjoy the things, you love the things, so automatically you learn, you enjoy. And this is how you learn very easily. So in the same way, like when I was little, I used to, uh, I used to teach, like I used to play a game of teaching, like I'm a teacher and there are all the friends are students. And then I uh, started, you know, when I completed my graduation, so very early I started teaching. Like, first of all, I used to teach at my home. After that, I joined a school. And after getting married also, I used a job. I joined a school. Yes. 
Hmm. So yes, I always love teaching, and that is why I am running my YouTube channel. Like I wanted to teach on online um, some children what limited knowledge I have. I'm not get I'm not good at speaking, and I'm not a, a spoken trainer. But I love this language, and I want to provide English environment at my home for my students. That's why I'm here. That's nice. That's good. Okay, okay, so uh, one thing I would like to know that how did you get my uh, Skype ID? Did you watch my YouTube channel or you are in the group of Skype? No, I think uh, I saw your uh, uh, Skype ID on uh, that uh, group, Skype group. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, because sometimes you know, know people like to uh, directly send uh, me messages uh, from through my channel, and sometimes people send me messages from group. Yes, that's why I ask the question. Okay, because there are a lot of people okay. in group. You know, I I'm not aware about everyone. Yeah. Okay, so when did you start your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel last year uh, on. 14 May 2023 and I have completed my one year. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. I think I'm making the videos and uploading on a YouTube channel. It's a very interesting hobby and you know in this way you are really uh, very challenging also. You know, like if you are busy personality, that time it's very challenging because uh, making consistency is required on YouTube. And if you are not consistent, so you will not get good results. And for making consistency, you need time, and you have to put, you know, your a uh, uh, lot of efforts. You have to do like you have to do all the things in a different way, in a smart way. That time, that mm. only you can get success on YouTube. Otherwise, if you are thinking that it's my uh, formality that I have to upload video daily. So I don't think that you will get viral and you will get benefit. So yes, it's very it's interesting, a, but it's very challenging also. But the, I think I think it's a good habit. Uh, like in this way, you can uh, increase your confidence level. You can uh, yeah. you can uh, you know make a yeah. uh, relation with different people, a healthy relation. Okay. So yes. you can get some knowledge on different things. You know, every every person has a. Different point of view on different things, yes, and uh, yeah, actually, I also started a YouTube channel, but uh, I couldn't be consistent. So after uploading uh, 10 to 11 videos, I gave up. So yes. it was very challenging to find the people and making a conversation after that uploading on YouTube channel. That's very challenging. That's why I'm saying that. You know, it's not a cup of tea. Like it's a really a very challenging task if you are on YouTube and if you want to be consistent. So we have to put a lot of efforts that after that we mm. can get good results. Yeah. Okay, sir. And okay. really you are saying, right, you know, when we interact with different kind of people from diverse countries, so we get a lot of knowledge, you know, because like if you are alone at home and mm. you are not talking to somebody, and you are not going outside, mm. you are not interacting with different kind of people. So how can you get knowledge? Yeah. So this is the best way to increase your knowledge and present yourself. Because I have seen there are a lot of people, they have a lot of ideas in their mind, you know, they are so knowledgeable, but they don't mm. know that how to express their ideas, how to present yourself. Mm. Yeah. And it will only come when you present yourself daily to other to in front of other person. And you can check yourself mm. ki yesterday I have done this mistake. Tomorrow I will not do this mistake and I will speak this. I will not speak like this. So this is how, you know, we are learning. We are improving. Yeah. So this is the mm. best way. Yeah. And if you are running YouTube channel, yeah. so you can make your consistency. Like if I would, I, I always mm. think that I'm a homemaker. I'm a part time teacher also. And if I would not run my YouTube channel, so I don't think that I will be consistent because sometimes we think that mm -hmm. you know uh, it's not um, uh, i don't have time today we can delay and yes let's see any other day but if i have youtube you know so somewhere i think that no 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 it's very essential first of all give priority for my speaking after that i will do other work you know it happens yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely definitely okay okay ma'am
So now. Okay, so it is a really wonderful conversation, and you are very nice personality, I must say, and I think you are very simple uh, personality, uh, isn't it? Thank you. It's your greatness. Thank you so much. Yeah.